Art, defined by the Oxford Dictionary as the expression of human creative skill and imagination, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Art is everywhere. Advertisements, commercials, movies, video games, screensavers, even what you're looking at right now is a form of art too. The arts are expressed on a global scale, but do they really get enough recognition for their efforts? Many see the arts as an exclusive group, where only artists and musicians reside, but this is not true. In Center Wellington, the arts reach to nearly every branch of study, and the murals painted in their departments reflect that. From math to science, to business, music, martial arts, Aboriginal studies, and even to support our clubs and organizations. But there is one hallway that has not been touched by this at all. Filled with the same grey lockers and bright red brickwork, along with enough irony for a Shakespearean play, stands the art department. Some of the high schools I've been at have produced more murals within the school, on the walls. That hasn't been the case here as much as in other schools like ODSS. They're probably not deemed as important, but I think that they give you a lot of essential skills that you need to be successful in life, and so I feel they're very important. I think the arts at any high school could get more attention. It's easy for people to say, we don't need art anymore. So sometimes the government says, we're going to cut funding to the art program. The fact that the sheer volume of students that are involved in teams and so forth, they seem to always be more visible. You don't see people, certain people in science that do chemistry, biology, taking art. You have coffee houses, CW's got talent, the improv club, you've got the, the drama club itself, the musical ensembles, we combine and do projects, visual art as well. They do shows at the uh, Laura uh, Center for the Arts. The Specialist High Skills Majors program is the biggest in the arts. So yeah, at the high school, yeah, it's, it's got a pretty good profile. I think the arts program is in a really good spot right now. Of course there's room for improvement. A major art show at the end of the year. I think that would make us a little more visible. Students want to showcase what they've done. It never hurts to have a bit more. Maybe there are some things we could continue to do on a regular basis. Grade 12 students would submit um, a design for a mural and if their design was accepted then they would be allowed to put it up. You look at it as a like a train line. We're the last stop in the community here. There needs to be a, a better foundation at the elementary level. Since we've dropped from five years to four years we've had to compress the program. I think it's up to the teacher to really bring up uh, the program to where it should be and yeah, we're, I always want it to be better. We're just going to continue to grow with stronger teachers and students who are really devoted to participating in the arts. And if they participate in the extracurricular, I think that helps too. There could be more involvement too in things like an art club. It adds a lot to our culture. It adds a lot to our enjoyment of life. I would encourage every student at CW to get involved in the arts. Our school is as good if not better than any I've taught in, in terms of the programs that we offer. It's fun. 